All right, and there says, hi K, how do you determine when to close successful trade? Is it a certain number like 50 or 100 pips? Uh, no, no, um, I simply exit whenever the market retraces. So I have a couple of videos about my entries and also exit timings. So you can, you can search, uh, you can search exit and forex k on YouTube and you can find my exit videos. But basically, my idea of a trade is really simple. For example, this is Euro USD, and I usually take the daily to follow. So let's say on this date, this is the 23rd of September, I see downtrend, Kumo down, Kijun Sen down, Tenkan Sen down, Chikou Span below candles. So this is downtrend, I look for the selling edge, and I take sell. I take sell, let's say here. And then I follow the daily. So as long as daily goes down, I try out the profits. So next day goes down, I try out the profits. And then on two days after, this is 27th of September, you can see this uh, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and Senko Span BA, angles are flat. And this is when I look for an exit timing. So exactly on this date of the 27th September, I look for an exit timing for my trace. And how I look for an exit timing is based on the 5 minute. Because whenever I exit, I do this in a scalping way. So let's say I took the sell here. Let's say if I still keep holding the positions, most likely my stop loss will be here above the previous high. And yeah, when I come back to chart somewhere around here, I find I find the day to be flat. Or um, and then I look for exit time. So first, when I see daily to be flat, then I lower the stop loss to here, above the previous high in the 5. So I fix the profit of, let's say, I fix the profit of 82 pips or so, so that if the market reverse, which might happen because daily flat, if the market reverse, I take profit of 82 pips and close my trade. That's one of my exit timings. And another exit timing is if the market goes down this way, you know, chance is 50-50 here because daily is flat. And daily flat means buyers and sellers are 50-50. So the market can go up or down any, any directions. And that's why I look for exit timing. But in case if the market keeps going down this way, Let's say the market goes down and up and down like this way. Then what I do is I trial the profit. I trial, I move the stop loss above the previous high and fix the profit of 94 pips. And if the market reverse, that will be my exit. So that's how I exit my trace. So I don't set the TP in terms of the pips. I don't set the TP on 50, 100 or so, but instead I trial the profits and when the daily or the 4 hour time frame goes flat, that's when I look for an exit timing in this way. So in these examples, simply the price hit the stop loss and exit automatically, but let's say sometimes let me just delete. Sometimes the market um, goes range. Afterwards, the market keeps going range like this. And then start to go up gradually this way. And by the time the market goes up like this way gradually, then I may see the gold cross of stochastics. And I may also see the end wave in the 5 minute, end wave uh, bullish in the 5 minute, or I might see band walking 
against my direction. So anyways, when I find the reversal confirmation, reversal means reverse against my direction confirmations, then I exit manually. So when I see this, I don't wait until the market hit the stop, but I will fix the private here. So that's how I exit my trades with the profit. I used to use the TP of uh, 50, 100 or based on the risk and real ratio. Like if, if my stop loss is 20 pips, then I set a TP of 60 and that will be 1 to 3 risk and real ratio, for example. So I used to, I used to do that but I don't do anymore because sometimes the market hit the TP and it goes continuously. And I thought it's not really reasonable to set the TP because I'm not the one who controls the market. So um, there is no way whether the market hit the TP or not. Sometimes the market doesn't hit the TP, but then it goes backwards against my direction and it goes back to stop loss. I think it may happen. It happens to you also. So in that case, I have to look for exit timing anyways, manually. So instead of placing the TP, I instead I follow, uh, I follow the direction of the market and I keep trading the profits as much as I can. So when I take the trade, for example, when I take the trade here, I would never know if I will run 90 pips or 100 pips or 50 pips or 20 pips, I would never know because I don't set TP. There is no target for me. There is no target. But as long as it goes, simply I follow and when the market stops trending, that's simply when I take profit. So that's my mindset of exit timing and I think this is very much different from what people usually say. But at least for me, this is very safe psychologically. So yeah, I really like my own 